Hey, Richard Fong here from Bliss Drive. I'm creating this video as a tutorial for members to optimize their profile. So when other members search for a certain type of profession, they're likely to be found and they're uh, likely to get noticed just based on their profiles. Now, you know, as a member of BNI, you know, sometimes there's a lot of um, people, professions who rely on other professions and they may not know someone, um, say a contractor, right? A contractor may need a plumber occasionally, but they don't know who to go to. So they, um, their first instinct would be going to BNI and they would start searching. Okay, say, let's say they're going to find a member, right? And they'll type in um, plumber, let's see here, plumber, right? So you have your plumbers listed. Now, there are only two plumbers here, but we, I know there's more than two plumbers in BNI, but they haven't probably been focusing on creating their profile and doing all that. So when, you know, if you don't publish your profile, you're not going to be found. You're paying for BNI to list you on this. Um, not only, you know, do you get uh, a link to your website, which gives you authority, you also get a potential to promote yourself, right? So it's, it's to your advantage um, to actually, you know, have your listing, have your picture, have your website, have everything listed out. So let's take another example. I mean, uh, for contractor plumbers, one example, lawyer, if you're a lawyer, they always look for different types of lawyer, um, just different things. So you want to be listed. Now let's look at uh, internet marketing, right? These are tech savvy guys, so they should have more profiles. As you can see, they do. You know, one of the things I, um, you know, you can't help, which I don't like, is that they list names by alphabetical order. So if I was, say, Alfred, I, I probably have an advantage over Brian to be listed on top. But that's okay. Let's see what he got, okay? He's got his image, he's got his contact information, and he's got some um, uh, writings on his business referral. That's all good, right? So I'm going to show you how to do all of this uh, yourself. You know, and let's see, this guy's social media, very good, right? So let's take a look at my example. And I think mine's more optimal than uh, the rest of them because I filled out my completely right I have my website address here all my social media links and I even have a link at the bottom right I'll show you it's a little trick I do uh, to get it in there and then you, you know you fill this out fill this out completely because this is good for the search engines this is good for someone who's trying to understand you more um, this is just good so you you can just take parts of your content from your website like my favorite BNI story it could just be a testimonial right um, top problems I've solved it could just be uh, a story that you use in your uh, sales manager minute. Um, top products, just uh, keywords that you think people need to know about. Ideal referrals, um, business that you uh, you want to be associated with, where you want to help. And ideal affiliate uh, referral partners are just businesses that uh, refer to you the best. So having all this information makes you a lot more credible versus finding. Mean, these guys are you know they're kind of optimized. If I go into other professions um, you'll find that they're less optimized right so let's say lawyer okay just lawyer okay I bet you they're not as optimized right they don't fill in their words um, let's see here okay th these guys are doing well they're they're optimized pretty well here um, in terms of see this this is what happens what I usually see right they don't have their contact info they have a Twitter it's very um, blend. So if I were to choose a lawyer, who do you think I'm going to go with, right? Someone who filled out their information, took their time, and I understand a little more about their business, or someone who just did the minimum, I can't even see their picture, yada, yada, right? So on the next video series, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into the, um, the BNI Connect, you know, I'm assuming you already have an account, and show you exactly what to do to actually go through the steps of filling this out and it's going to be a quick five minute video and once you know you can watch it again and again but uh, it should take you no more than 15 minutes to complete your own profile 15 to 20 minutes so it takes almost no time where you can give it to your assistants to complete um, so watch the next video to figure out how you can optimize your BNI profile now it may not give you business next month um, or next you know but within the year as you're paying the dues someone may call you someone may find you on the BNI network and you know that amount of time is worth it to you at that point right so let's look at the next video and we'll we'll go from there all right bye